There exists a small but very much present part of the population, affectionately termed insurance scammers, who will run into cars and look like they've been hit, or just have their car hit. And today we're going to look at the top 10 insurance scammers. These guys are nuts, and the last one is crazy! Alright, so I'm going to hit you with a few honourable mentions before the top 10, because I've got to make this video 8 minutes long, and that's what I've got to contend with. And it just so happens that the maths doesn't work out, alright? Doing 10 videos in 8 minutes. Anyway, look at these nutters. This is in Russia, I think, where I've heard there's some good road rage antics going on. So he tried to park in front of him there and get hit. He's backing away. He's trying to <laughs> kick the car. And he thinks, stuff this guy. And he gets rid of the door there. A swift movement. Pretty sweet. Alright, here we are in some other place in the world, presumably. And this guy's stopped the car. And thankfully, well, this isn't in English, but I've got the translation. He said, look, I've got money. And, and I'm just going to hold on to your windscreen wiper here. And you're going to give me some money or take part in my scam. Or I'm going to take this equivalent of money off you. Ha ha ha. And they say, I've got you on camera. He says, what? I didn't hear you. I've got money. So we've got you on camera. He said, what? I can't just, oh, shut up. So we've got your camera. He's like, oh, no. Dang it. Idiot. And uh, he calls it a day there, as anyone in their right mind would. Alright, here we are in China. I've got to be honest, a large proportion of these scammers does seem to be Chinese old ladies. That's not any kind of, you know, um, I don't know, xenophobic comment. It just happens to be the case. Alright, so what's going to happen here? Whoa! Whoa, that was a big hit. I don't know how they survived that. This, this is actually in slow motion. If you're watching it at real speed, it would look more dramatic. This guy's happy with himself. He knows he's done his job. He's giving him jip there. Thinking, I'm out of here. I'm smoking a fag. I'm going to sit on the ledge. Squat it. Alright, so here is a young child that her mother has put in kind of danger here. <laughs> Pushes her into the van. And then the mother goes, ah, you got me, you cretin, what are you doing? Ah, I'm writhing around like a mentor, like an insect. Again, another Chinese old lady. I think it's a sport around here, possibly. But, it, you know, no one really bats an eyelid, because they see it every day. Oh, it's just another old lady, bump in front of a car. Here's a fella on a bike doing the same thing. I, can I just say quickly as well, I don't know what it is they're trying to get out of this. Can someone explain to me? Because if they haven't got it on camera, what are they going to do? Say a car hit me? And then, like, what are they actually trying to achieve here? Oh, like, the, the car didn't even hit him there. Can someone actually explain to me? Oh, he looks tall. Like, what, what do they get paid? What, paid in damages or... I literally don't understand. I don't know what they're trying to achieve. What, they keep the money and say they were hurt? This is actually well dangerous because look, it almost crashes into the bloody, you know, van, whatever you call it. Log truck. <laughs> Not log. Well, alright, well, let's just take it to another level here. We've got a quash, quash quai, I reckon. I think it's C U N T. No wonder his number plate spells poo. That's what he is. This is some kind of, this is some kind of cuntathon, and does anyone even ever respect marshals? I don't think they do, and this is the reason why. This is the kind of person who is a marshal, for the most part. I don't know. Again, what is he trying to do? Is he just, is he just attention seeking? No one knows. I'm liking this guy's mask on his, on his front there. We should have more of those in COVID times. All right, it's the moment the world has been waiting for. It's the list, and here we have a very visible commuter on the right. Just trying to prove a point, saying you're on the wrong side of the road there, pal. Oh, you hit me. That's what I was talking about. You should drive the wrong side of the road. <laughs> anyway, this could be the most badass attempt I've seen, which is why it's number nine. But yeah, I really don't know what he's trying to achieve there. If he's trying to pick up a penny or save a, a beetle or a frog. That actually could be it, to be honest. Practice their wrestling moves, maybe. And this is another classic video of, of this going on. Some sort of husband and wife team here, presumably. Go get her! Go get the car, babe! That's it, you've done a good job. I'll do alright? Yeah, you smashed it. I smash it? Yeah, you smashed it, babe. Alright, now let's go chat to them about insurance. 
My favourite. Look at this, the car kicks back. Oh, whoa, that car literally beat him up. This lady's just gone hell for leather. She doesn't even care. She doesn't even, she's chasing, the car's backing away from her because she's a mentalist and she's going in for round two. <laughs> Trying to dent it or something, I don't know. But yeah, these, these people on the side, they just see this every day. So they're just like, ugh, stride past. It's just like seeing a pigeon or whatever in London, I reckon. It's that common. This is mental. Tries to, you know, make it look like he got hit by the bus and the bus driver just says, fuck you. And he's out of there. What we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to compromise on quality for largeness of the thing in view here. This is why people shouldn't film things portrait. It's a real problem in the video world right now. Maybe everything will eventually be portrait. Anyway, here at number four. This, this, this guy comes out of nowhere. It's pretty dramatic. Look at this. It's like a ghost. I'd wear a t-shirt if I was doing that or some kind of protection. But yeah, it's kind of mental. Some people there, they see him. They just start going for him for some reason. It's not his day. He's been hit by a car. And he's being chased by some other goons. What are they? Police? Community support officer? I don't know. PCSOs? Ah, oh, this is mentaloid. Right, I think this is must be in Russia or whatever as well, because this would never happen in the UK. So look at this car here. Right, he's cut him off. And so this guy's obviously got a bit of road rage now. He's getting him back. You've got to really have a passion for road rage and a passion for honour to do in your car like that when someone cut you off. But I think he's trying to get insurance, you see. No one knows. I actually don't know what's going on. I just found these clips, I'm putting them together, and I'm talking over them, all right? This is what I do now, this is how I spend my time, and if you've got a problem with that, I'll come and jump in front of your car, all right? Yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, look at this, look at this, right. So he's in front of him there, he goes, right. Nice timing with the music, ah. That is, that is honor over chassis. It's rare to see these days. Yeah, God bless dash cams. All right, this is number two. This is pretty mental. This guy's like flipping him the bird. He's like, yeah, come through. Ha ah, you fucking loser. And the guy in the car's like, oh, come on then. <laughs> it's pretty satisfying, that one, actually. I think he's all right. And number one. This is jokes. So, <laughs> look at this car here. He's trying to instigate an accident. And he's trying to make it... He's, all over the shop, just trying to get into an accident, and he sees what he thinks is a lorry, whacks into the back of it, but it just turns out to be a parked trailer with no one inside. So he's just done himself right in. 